What is going on, everyone, in the podcast world? Hearing my voice. Jimmy G here. Jimmy G TV podcast. It's still in the beginnings, but like everything, it just takes time to get going. Uh, it's Sunday, February 17th. I'm on my lunch break, and I figure I'd uh, shoot the shit with you guys. Maybe you're on your break too, bored. I know I am. But I have plenty of time, so here I go. Just a quick little update with my website at jimmygtv.com. I'm trying to put as much information as I can for the ease delivery process. The new map for the Sacramento area, the expanding areas. Very excited because I get more hours. And I get more miles, and that's how I get paid. So, if you're in the Sacramento area, it has expanded from Elk Grove all the way to Citrus Heights, Folsom, uh, all of downtown Sacramento, almost all of Sacramento, West Sacramento, and hopefully soon enough, Rio Linda and Roseville, Rockland. It's going to be awesome. So, keep track on my website with that. I'm trying to put as much uh, information on there to make it valuable. So that you're not always wondering when it's coming to your part of town. Right now I'm just smoking on uh, some strawberry mint high CBD. Or vaping I should say. Anyone listening to this that lives in the Sacramento area. If you know of any storefronts that sell CBD flour. Please let me know. Either leave a recording here on the Anchor platform or send me an email at jimmygtv at yahoo.com. It would be awesome. I cannot find any CBD flower. I know that Humboldt Farms makes one, but we don't have it out here. I do know that there's a Harley Quinn strain that's um, somewhere out there. I haven't seen it, but you know... You go on weed maps, it uh show you that it's like a thousand miles away in some other state. So that's not helping. Speaking of storefronts, let me vent real quick. And please let me know if you have the same problem. I call a dispensary yesterday. First thing I asked them is I'm looking for CBD cartridges or flour only. You know, what do you have? This is the first thing they tell me. You need to go on weed maps. Like, okay, I've been on weed maps, but it doesn't really look like that your menu has anything. And the guy tells me, well, we update it twice a day. Um, I'm sorry, but I'm really busy. We have a lot of customers. I got to go. I'm like, you know what? That's fine. Just never mind. <clears throat> I don't know what everyone else experienced with weed maps is, but when I go on there, I just feel like I'm not getting the full experience of what they offer on the menu. Or if that's the way it is in the Sacramento area, there is nothing here. Nothing. I've been to about five of them out here. And it's like, did you guys just sell out? Like what what happened? Did we miss um, inventory day when everything was here? So I don't know if that's just a Sacramento thing or the other thing I've heard to flip side to that is that there is just not enough uh, supply for the storefronts in um, Sacramento. And that does make sense because I guess that they have to go through testing and then all that. And there's not enough testing facilities in Sacramento. And so that's kind of the bottleneck of the industry. You know, everything goes through there. And if there's not enough testing facilities, then yeah, the product's going to get put out slower. And then by that time, supply and demand, all these storefronts and delivery services, you know, they're all waiting for their product. And then the, the growers have to dispense it evenly to whoever. So I can see why. But back to the storefront thing. The whole customer service thing is a joke. I haven't been to one place where I'm like, this is my place. You know, this place is cool. You know, I don't know one person's name. 
you know, that that's something I would want. You know, like, hey, this is my dispensary, and this is so-and-so. They're hella cool. Or, you know, even just knowing the managers. Kind of like having your own bar. You know, like you have your local bar that you like. Oh, you know, I know the bartender and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, have a cool little local friendship. I don't have that out here. I really do. So if someone can suggest a storefront in the Sacramento area that I should visit. I mean, I, I'd even willing to go to San Francisco if uh, someone said I'd have a good experience. I just want to see what you know what's out there. And this is an experience. Like, I'm not going to send my mom or grandmother. That's why you got to think about it too with the customer service part of this. Not everyone has weed maps. Not everyone knows what that is. Hell, I didn't even know what it was till uh, maybe six months ago when I downloaded the app. So you mean to tell me somebody can call, and I'm just using the elderly aspect just to kind of paint a, uh, more of a picture of what, what how I see it, how the customer service sucks. If my mom or grandma calls and gets that same reaction that I got, what are they going to do? You know, they might be deterred or like left with the bad, you know, feeling about this whole thing. And all they're really trying to do is, you know, medicate themselves or they want to experiment or, you know, they want to feel better. And the whole vibe has just been taken away because somebody said, you need to go on weed maps. Uh, we're way too busy for you. I don't think it should be like that. It kind of reminds me of how there's so many tattoo parlors out there that some of these tattoo artists, you know, they, they're kind of, uh, my experience, I've had some good ones and I've had some bad ones and the bad ones are just like, dude, there's another tattoo parlor right down the street and that guy's fucking awesome. You know, I just happen to maybe like your work, but you know, your personality and just the way you fucking are, you know, I'm not going here. I'll go over there. <clears throat> so that part I never understood. And yeah, like just put some effort and think about the customers. You know, this isn't about me and my bad experience. Like I don't live in the same city as my mother and she tells me about the dispensaries where she's at and she doesn't like them either. They're, they're not helpful. You know, they never have what she wants. And, uh, I think it'd probably be worked on. So any managers out there, um, probably listen, um, you gotta, you gotta think about this. Well, let's see what else here. I have a, a bunch of to-do things on my to-do list. One of my biggest goals was to make review videos for G Pen, um, the G Pen Geo, and the the cartridges. Every time I go to make these review videos in my garage, my kids show up. They knock on the door, they yell, they want my attention. So it's just been really hard. And it's, uh, you know, as a father, you're not, it's hard to not be frustrated. So you gotta, you know, attend to your kids first. You know, the videos can wait. But it's something that I really wanna do, man. I. Every time I want to look up a product, I don't see too many videos about them. And I feel like I can bring value into making these types of videos with the G-Pens, especially their CBD. It's easy to get it, um, get your CBD. For instance, I'm using my um, G-Pen Geo right now. And I just think it's better to vape it. Never had the flower yet. I know that some smoke shops, they have like the little pre-rolls that they say is just CBD. It's like some flower, but it doesn't taste right. It's just, I don't know. I, I, I want the real stuff that's an actual, looks like bud. And uh, I'm really, I want to try that Harley Quinn strain that they got going out there. I Please, somebody get me to that. But I'd rather vape CBD than eating it and smoking it I just I like it they got the lavender it's a 3 to 1 
that'll just put you to sleep. So I can't smoke that while I'm at work. Because that's my nightcap. And I definitely recommend that. The lavender for the G-Pin from Kaliva. It's a three to one. If you're having trouble sleeping, you got to give that a try. Especially if you like lavender. You, uh, I don't want to say it tastes like soap when you exhale. But it's not going to bother you if you're a lavender fan. If you're not used to the lavender smell, it might mess with you for a second. Like, hey, you know, is this normal? Am I supposed to taste this? It's normal. And you can get used to it. It's not... Um, it's not horrible. What else is on the, the to-do list? You just got to find some time, man. I, I'm sure that everyone can relate to that. It's like, you know, you zone in on something. You, you got a list of to-do things. And it's, you know, you're really excited. And the littlest thing can mess it all up. I woke up this morning... Like five o'clock early, took a shower, got ready, made some coffee. I'm like, I'm making some videos. Go in that garage, turn on my studio lights, get everything ready, have my microphone on, doing a few audio tests. Bam, dead battery. I'm like, oh my God. Plug it in for a little bit, review my little outline of a, not really a scripted review, but it keeps me keeps my pace going so I'm not like oh what was I going to say about this review you know and uh, you know me sh you know kind of acting it out before I actually record battery charges put it back camera check my audio on my preamp with my headphones all right I'm ready to record I record over 25 minutes of footage and audio only to find out I didn't connect my preamp to the actual uh, DSLR camera. So, I got video, but no audio. Ugh, it's so frustrating. <laughs> so please, if you've been following me and, and watching my uh, website, of like, when is it going to do these reviews? Just, uh, man, just life gets in the way and it sucks sometimes. And uh, it can get frustrating. But I'm going to get these out and I want to make them good. I want to make Jimmy G TV as valuable as possible for people that re can relate to. It's not going to be professional. In fact, I'm talking on the this podcast right now with my headphones. It's not good quality sound. But I can't keep using that as an excuse. Of, oh, well, I don't got my microphone. I don't got my... Uh, my over-the-ear uh, headphones so I can hear my audio, make sure it's going in. I, I got to keep telling myself, it's not going to be perfect. It'll get better. I just got to do it. And that's really what this little um, recording is for right now, is um, to get me talking out loud. Because it is kind of awkward. I'm in my car right now, on my break, just talking to myself. But really, I'm hoping that you right now that's in your car or at home or you're at the gym or you're doing laundry or whatever it is you're doing that you're hearing me and you get it. You're like, I know what he's talking about. Some things aren't perfect and you just got to just do it anyways just to get it going. I'm trying to get the ball rolling and that's about it. Um, I appreciate that the few that might be following me right now. You guys are awesome. And if you haven't been to my website before, just give it a check at jimmygtv.com. You, if you sign up through my Ease link, you're going to get $20 um, into your cart immediately just for signing up through my link. So please enjoy that. Other than that, I'm going to probably get back to work. I hope everyone has a good day. And uh, stay tuned. A lot of good things are going to happen. I appreciate your time. And if anyone hasn't told you today, just remember to express yourself, have faith in yourself. Have a good day, guys.